Good morning. Good morning. Let's start the day this morning with an I love you. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel. Watch a theory here. I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos three times a week. Click the like, click the like. I can't figure out where to look. So like closing my eyes just felt better. I think it's like right there next to the microphone. I think that's the camera. So should I just stare at that little green light? Is that the camera? Is that the camera? Eye contact for, look, I keep looking over here. Eye contact for autistic people is hard already. And then I try to film on my phone. Mm. I have not plugged in the batteries to charge for my camera yet. Well, that's how I'm doing. How are you? Good morning. Happy Monday. Porch coffee is my favorite. Always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for sticking with me. You're a bit of a tough time for me and uh, just having some tough mental stuff and just feeling tired. So thanks for sticking with me. Wow, my lisp is really bad this morning. Even I can hear it. So maybe we'll put subtitles on this video. I had some girlfriends come over yesterday and they were so sweet because they know I'm having a rough time and they just came and hung out with me and brought snacks and left the snacks and we went out to eat and uh, just kept everything really low key and comfortable. Oh, sorry, so rude. So rude, so rude, so rude, so rude. Oh. Yeah, we had a great time. We looked at my garden and we spent time with the animals and did a chit chat and it just meant so much to me. Sometimes when you're like in the middle of like a bad time, just having people come and say like, hey, we're here for you. So helpful and I just really appreciate them. So if that's you, thanks for coming. It really helped me a lot. It really helped me a lot and I really appreciate those friends and their friendship and their kindness and you know when I was younger I could have never imagined having great friends I know I don't have to explain this every time I I have had friends growing up um but when you're autistic it can be difficult to be close with people and I didn't know I was autistic and I was always wondering why I could never have friends the same way other people had friends and they, they kept friends, like close friends, and they kept in touch with people and they wanted to spend time with them. And I didn't have that. Um, I didn't know what I was doing wrong. When I found out I was autistic, uh, friendships have been the biggest thing that I have gained from learning about my diagnosis. And also like my biggest area of improvement, I think. That's my story on that. Should I do a video on what I've learned about friendship? That sounds like a great idea. Make sure you put it in the comments or I will forget. I remember the doctor who was diagnosing me asking me these questions about friends and me thinking like, oh, like I didn't even think about this as an autistic thing. Just feeling like everyone else has the answer to the friends mystery, except for me. Thanks for your patience on Friday with my video. Um, sometimes I run out of room on my computer. This is actually the second time this has happened, but I caught it the first time. If I run out of memory space on the computer, it usually tells me, which it did, um, and says that I need to empty out some space. And this time it also said that it had saved the video. I assumed that that meant that the video was saved and I should now clear up some room 
but it made it. That was not what happened. It only saved the first five minutes of the video, ran out of room, and then said that the save was successful when it wasn't. So I wasn't paying attention to the upload when it happened. I was just like, okay, it's done. Let me fill in the information and get it out there. So yeah, thanks for your patience. And I'm hoping that everyone went back and watched the full video of my veggie tour because if not, you haven't seen my woofas and you didn't get to see a lot of cats. You're really missing out. It's really on you. We're just gonna go with that for now because my arm is tired. Oh, big news. I am currently growing two zucchinis, two of my zucchini female flowers. So red, so red, so red. Ooh. Don't look. Two zucchini uh, girl flowers bloomed this week. So I have germinated them and they have started to grow. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then you know, hopefully in the next week or so, we'll have a zucchini. They're already getting bigger. Also, we've moved into the part of the summer where the uh, evenings and mornings are super chilly and cold and wonderful. And it's just the days that are hot. So I'm really enjoying that too. I guess that's really it. What else has happened this week? There's a lot of personal stuff going on that I really don't want to share, which I feel so good about because... <laughs> If you're on the spectrum, I used to feel like I couldn't keep a secret in. I've talked about this before. Like things that were private, I still felt like I had to share it with everyone. How have I put it before? Like the prophets of old, like they felt like there was like a fire, a coal on their tongue, like they had to get it out. Um, that's how I used to feel about like everything. Just so much stress and anxiety wrapped around private information. So when I can now say like, you know, it's none of anyone's business what's going on with my life. Here's what I'm willing to share. It feels empowering. It feels good. That's another amazing part about being diagnosed. Like I don't feel that anxiety anymore. A lot of it too, not just autism, but a lot of it was OCD, really, really debilitating OCD. Um, and I've been through a lot of treatment for that. So yeah feels better. It's so funny to me how one can be having a rough time, but I still on a base level feel a lot better than I've ever felt. So I feel good about that. I guess that's it everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, we're going to hit 3000 this week, I think. And so if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? No pressure guys. It's not like that. Okay, subscribe if you'd like, but you'll probably have a lot of fun if you do. Have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye.